Everybody happy? Hey. Hey. Right. I'm still Gino D. Hello, Gino D. I'm and, Johnny E. And it's called, and welcome to Gino D's Rock Shots. Now I have the privilege of sitting next to a legend in, 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 the, in the rock industry here in the UK. You might not recognize the face, but you might recognize the name as Rhino. Okay? Yeah. And you might have seen this guy on stage in a, a couple of years ago, or the, even like, even this year. Right, yes, in a rock and beat combo. Yeah. And that, 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 what's the name of that little four piece outfit that, that, that you work with? Called a five piece. Yeah, oh yeah, two guitars, a bass. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But I forgot about the keyboard player. Um, Were they status quo oh, or something? That's uh, yeah, but now you're coming to yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wrote whatever you want, actually. That guy you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, just, <laughs> just sort of reminds you, Gino. <laughs> anyway, thank you for uh, inviting me onto your site. No, it's not a problem. Uh, you have a long legacy in the industry, don't you? Yeah. I've been... Uh, I was telling somebody that I turned pro in 1975. Wow. So I'm not much... I'm not, not much long... Uh, not much behind me, guys, from quote. Yeah. And uh, I, I started off in France for my career, and um, which started me off on many of my um, costume changes. <laughs> well, I ended up in a band called, in, in France called Space, which involved wearing ski suits, which would look like space suits allegedly, and um, which were really handy when you were doing a TV show in Italy and it's 38 degrees outside <laughs> and you're wearing a space suit, a ski suit, you're thinking, hmm. But then, yeah, I went on to there. Dex's Midnight Runners. Yeah. For the Americans amongst yeah. your viewers. Yes. Kim Wilde, another one. Yeah. yeah. Cliff Richard. Yeah. Sandy Shaw. Judy Souk. Peter Green. An Elvis impersonator. Um, Climax Blues Band. Um, yes. Various um, covers bands. And um, you name it, I've either played it or worn it. <laughs> How does it feel after all this time then to still be getting up and playing like you are tonight? Tonight's a different thing tonight, isn't it? I yeah. mean, tonight is uh, on the small scale. Um, this is probably probably the best thing ever, really, because yeah. I'm, I'm in a band with my sons. Yeah. They're playing the guitar and the bass respectively for me tonight, and um, we recorded our new album together uh, for the benefit of your viewers. It's yeah. called Rhino's Revenge 2. It's a really incredibly clever title, as my last one was called Rhino's Revenge. We couldn't think of anything, <laughs> we couldn't think of anything else to be honest. But um, I started, I, I wrote the song for it and I started just thinking about who I wanted to play on it and I realised that the two main people were, were my sons. Because I like the way, I really like the way they play. If I didn't they were good enough, they wouldn't have done it. And I'm thrilled with what's come out. Yeah. Is is the album in a different vein as to a lot of the other projects, or how would you categorise the album? It's not very. It's not. It's not really like status quo. There's a lot of uh, different different elements running through. I mean, if anything, it's a bit too diverse, really. I mean, I've got songs about dogs, sex, giving up drugs, um, sexism, most isms, in fact, um, about fact about the cult of celebrity. Um, through a variety of styles. I've got a bit of hip hop in there, I've got a bit of hard rock, I've got some uh, Stonesy stuff, I've got some Zeppelin, Zeppelin y kind of stuff. It's uh, fun, fun for all the family, ladies and gentlemen, fun for yeah. all the family. <laughs> but it's very diverse. It, it's, it, we've got, um, if you write, rhinosrevenge.com will give you a link to two tracks on SoundCloud from our album. Cool. And I'm thrilled with it, you know. And I'm, I'm thrilled to be doing this. That's and that's talking to you, Gina. That's 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 but it's got to be a different feel playing with your sons and, and a family type of atmosphere than playing on... Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I digress there. But, I, I, um, you know, this is, this, is, this is something special. Yeah. But anyway, um, how does it feel to be keeping doing it? Is that what you said? Yeah. Well, it's what I want to do. It's what I set out to do. You know, I always wanted to be a musician. As, my, as one of my friends said once, you are the biggest road dog I've ever met. <laughs> You know, uh, I mean, this this tour we've got a van instead of a fleet of buses and trucks. You know, we kept yeah. carrying the back line around with us. That's really tiring. <laughs> um, but you know, it's just it's just what I do. What I do is I'm. But you've been enjoying it for you know 
35 years oh now. yeah anybody who doesn't enjoy it they shouldn't be in it you know get, yeah. get, let someone someone else decide who would enjoy it because it's, it's a, when it works it's a fantastic life is that is is that a sound piece of advice to give a lot of the newer bands then? and young kids are thinking they've got they can get their 15 minutes of fame and uh, and that's it well i don't think that, i don't think it's as easy to build a career as it used to be and i'd say life life seems to be a good way to build a career there's um it's difficult to be a session musician these days very yeah. difficult you know that's a, a never when i started out you know i I started out as playing as being a session player. All the all the things I've picked up along the way have been through people I've known or through recording sessions I've done where people have heard what I've done and said, oh, I like that guy, you know, I'd like to use him for this and and that kind of network isn't there anymore because people just do it all at home on their computers now. Which is a bit Well not all no, I was gonna say but a lot of that's kinda of depressing. Well, well I, I think that um when the groove took over from the song, you know, when the four to the floor yeah. became the main thing, I yeah. think that was, um, killed a lot of music. Yeah. You know, I think so, it, the, the variety of it all. Um, but then I don't know whether, I'm, I'm of the next generation, maybe that is what's supposed to be, you know, maybe every generation has, has its own music. Yeah. But, one of the few ways I think to make a living is as a live musician nowadays, and you know, that's not easy either. Yeah. But I do think that that's, um, if you've got something going, you've really got to promote it, you've got to push it really yeah. hard. And nowadays that, that promotional aspect of it is completely different than it was 30 years ago, oh, even yeah. 20 years ago. Social, media, 10 years social ago. media, you know, I read a great interview with Noel Gallagher, and he said there will never be another band like Oasis, because when they started out, people would go over and they'd tell their mates, I saw this amazing band, you've got to go and see them. So people, he said, well, people would come and see us, whereas nowadays, someone said, I've seen this amazing band, They'd look it up on YouTube and decide whether they liked it or not. Or if it's yeah. from a dodgy handheld camera, it doesn't sound and look so good. They think, oh, I'm not going to that, you know. Yeah. It's really hard to get that kind of um, grassroots Roots. thing going on. Yeah. Unless unless you're actually out there moving it from place to place, and there's a couple of young bands that I've seen yeah. come through that that's as as ageist as this may sound. Uh, it's the way we used to do it. You know, well, you know, yeah. it's not changed as such. I mean, if you're touring, you're still touring, you know, yeah. you're still going from A to B. And the good thing, I suppose, is that the sound is much better. Yeah. It's much clearer than it used to be, although it's all down to the, um, it's all down to the event, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't like people putting live music up on YouTube, because I think a gig now is an event. It doesn't matter if there's two people or, or 100,000 people in there, you know. It only really exists between those people. Yeah. That's what I think. I want there you go. Yeah. So, anything you want to say to your fans out there? Uh, through if the I've got any. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a couple out Hello, there. this is John Rhino Edwards out there. I'm from Status Quo and Rhino's Revenge. And if you've been watching this, you're yeah, crazy. But thanks for watching anyway. Well, I've got the crazy viewers anyway, so we'll just well, join you forces right. on hey, hey, <laughs> I look forward to meeting you all sometime. <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers. I've all been right. Gino D. You've been watching Gino D's rock shows. We'll catch you later on down the road. Thanks, John. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.